how come you came into politics after taking an oath that you would never enter politics again so this is wrong this is wrongly conceived i never took any a oath not to enter into politics again i never took any oath the people they have misconceived this thing in 1793 we just suspended our electioneering activities considering that any revolution doesn't seem to be possible through this electioneering process at least we should suspend it for six for quite good time and we will if possible we will try it again one more once more so we suspended the activities and we did not enter into the elections in 93 we stopped entering in participating in elections after 93 then there were no elections i think then it was 97 we didn't participate in two elections so it was just not participating in elections in 93 and 97 but we, i never took any oath <coughs> not to enter into politics again no we just suspended the activities considering it this this path or this you can say strategy doesn't seem to be workable or feasible for revolution but let us work more on gross root level for another couple of years so then in 1998 we saw an uh, again the feasible environment comparatively hopeful environment when a offer came to us to preside the biggest political alliance of opposition where the people's party benazir bhutto was also one of the members and i was going to be the chair i was the chairman of the alliance pakistan awami ittehad so it seemed to be a good chance uh, to a second start it was a second start but right from 1998 till today we saw that in spite of a very good start the whole electioneering process is a fraud it is just a fraudulent act it is a conspiracy and intrigue this is no fight of merits had there been a the fight and war of merits war of knowledge war of character competition contest competition of merits competition of character competition of wisdom competition of ability competition of potentials competition of capability competition of competency competition of awareness com competition of capability of delivering something had there been the competition and contest fair contest on merits and capabilities the situation would have definitely been different but all these things are not required in elections in pakistan maybe in other countries too here the things are only considered which are considered your money looted money your conspiracy you are being slave to certain people you understand how much slave you are and many these kind of things and your contacts with the other enemies of islam and muslim world out of enemies and inner people and agents how far you can go as an agent of those powers here these things are to be taken into consideration not the merits so to to win in election they need demerits of personality demerits of pers weakness of personality you should have no ideology you should have no character you should have no honesty you should have no truth in your life you should have no piety you should no you should have no fairness if you are free of all these good qualities then you can be fit for them and you are if you are deemed fit for them then he will choose you here is matter of choosing so inshallah we see we are thinking on the process but i told you there is no hopelessness because election is not winning the election of pakistan this is not only the revolution winning the elections of pakistani government revolution is something broader it is a totality this is just part of it one portion